it's a new day and today we are in West McDonald Ranges and this is the first stop which is called Simpson Gap. This is the most prominent gap in the West McDonald's. side to the gap. Another 360 view zooming out. Here's Stanley Chesson. Happened here. Lightning strike. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? That was a nice boomerang, darling. Yeah. Look at that, darling. Not a single handful of soil. It must be like a little. Lichens. Yeah, fungi. Look at all those debris, all those rocks. Look at that, that's amazing. Oh, I'm just realizing those trees there. Oh. It, it grows in the rock cracks. Oh. Well, that should be about mm, yeah, 80 are. meters. Yeah, 80 meters high. Oh, yeah, Where did you see them? Yeah, this those flowers up there. Oh yes. They're very rare. Wow. Very rare. Very pretty. Oh my gosh. This is like this dry canyon, eh? Little bit. white and this is red. I wonder where George went. Georgie! I'm gonna go further in. I don't know if the camera picks it but there are like several layers of that. One, two, three, four, five, six there on the background like a decoration in the theatre and guess what there is here on the bottom? a water hole a pretty water hole 
sacred land. Traditional custodians do not permit public access. Ellery Creek Big Hall. So this is the way to the lookout. Oh, we go just after we check the gorge out. We were told it's very, very steep, but it's definitely worth it. Ooh, apparently there is at the end of this track there is a nicely cold water hole that guards the entrance to people and the animals. A bit of a breeze coming through the gorge. What's that? Punamu. Oh, yeah. You know why it's called Serpentine Gorge, do you? Because of the Turpentine tree. Serpentine Gorge. Oh, Serpentine. How do you call the false Punamu, darling? Hey. How do you call false Jade? False Jade? Yep. Right. Serpentine. Serpentine. Yep. Yep. Really? Yep. Could be. When we went to New Zealand with Paul, we were on a venture to find some jade. We came back with a bucket of green stone and the guy from the shop, in the shop, he said, oh no, all you picked up, it was just serpentine, not punamu, not jade. You fool. Beautiful. Icy cold, they say. Oh, yes, it is icy cold. Now we are going to the Serpentine Gorge Lookout. This is our car. We came from there. We're going to check out the gorge. And we're about halfway to the lookout, I'd say. Maybe even shorter because it goes steeper. So it looks like a sea climb. A giant climb in the seabed. That's our fan. Landmark and then no landmark and then no landmark. Who gave you those binoculars, George? Uncle. What's his name? Dodo Andrei. Dodo Andrei, Andrei. 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 And
покажи, что у тебя есть. Пригодились. Ага. Not even half a minute later, we are ready to look out. And I thought it would be... <laughs> wow, they reckon this is the most spectacular lookout in yeah. Central Australia. And you know why? Because nothing can get through. It's got its own natural barrier. Look, there's another gap there. Another gap See? There. Imagine when the water's just Yeah. Well, you're going to be lucky to pick a dry day during the wet season. It's called. Yeah. Well, you can't remove or touch any yoga from this side. Maximum penalty is five thousand dollars. Really? Yeah. I got the colors: yellow, white, pink, red. Amazing. And the flowers up the top there. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, those are not so prominent, but there is some nice yellow outcrops. The layering, what's under the surface? There are the plants, a little bit of loose dirt, oh, look at that, Peter. Look at that rock. and ochre, and it's even more obvious underneath, on this side. Amazing. Wow, and this is layered brown and green. That's Let's amazing. See. The greens are like. Yeah, all the, the greens are like are the, the uh, clay that we have at the clay making place, eh? Mm. Okay, this is what it says here. Aboriginal people have extracted yoga from these cliffs for thousands of years. The yoga from here is still used by Western Naranda people, mainly for ceremonial purposes. The traditional Aboriginal stories and ceremonies for this site belong to Western Aranda men. Women and children are not permitted. However, women are permitted to use oka from this site to their, for their ceremonies. If it is provided by men or permission is granted. The colours. Yellow oka, the dominant colour of these cliffs, is caused by a mixture of white clay and iron oxide. The red-brown colour Colors are formed by high levels of oxidized iron in a very fine grained hematite or limonite. White ochre has very little or no iron. The white color comes from kaolin with clay mineral. Tiny fragments of mica and quartz give the ochre shiny quality. There's some recent digging here happening. White stuff is probably most popular. Which will be very contrasted on the dark skin. Yeah, white on dark skin, yeah, definitely. And look, there is some pink one there too. Yeah, wow. Pink! Oh my god, that is red! Beautiful.
Some more. Let's learn some more. The color ochre bear includes a this type represents 700 million years of geological history. We date from a time when the era was submerged, when the area was submerged beneath a massive, though shallow, inland sea about the same size as today Mediterranean Sea. The ochre pits were formed in this layer around a block, heavy tree quartzite, bitter springs formation. This is where the ochre was formed. Sediment, 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 and then the pressure starts to develop, build up, and the ground rises. At the sea deep deepened, as the sea deepened, layers of mud and sand were deposited. At the deepest point, these sedimentary layers, known as Amadeus Basin, were over 10 kilometers thick, causing deposits in Nepal to be compacted to solid rock. About 3 million, 300 million years ago, the Earth heaved and rolled in a spectacular episode of mountain building. Traditional uses of ochre. What the color means. White and yellow ochre are used mainly for decoration and cosmetics. Mixed with water or animal fat, such as from goanna, possum, or emu, it is made into paste and smeared onto the body with a finger or feather. Red ochre remains the most symbolic and often where feared ochre used in the Western Arantia society. Look at all them. Look, they just... Yeah. Medicine. Ochre mixed with fat or grease is used to heal various ailments. It is applied directly to the affected area. Ochre and eucalyptus leaves are rolled together and used as medication for heat and chest colds. In the past, plant foods such as berries were sometimes pulped and packed inside a bowl of ochre and buried to be kept in, as an emergency food. It's not too bad. I'll go in a minute with the GoPro on the water. Okay, don't kill me. The look out there. <laughs> and George playing there. Wow. That's so any under water rocks <laughs> oh, there's a load of Thank you. 